Hi Sagittarius, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to bring you your weekly angel tarot card reading for the week of May the 9th to the 16th, 2016. I want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, and sharing my videos with your family members and friends. Welcome to all the new people requesting readings to, with me in my circle and blessings to all my return clients. As you know, this is strictly a general reading. Every single card for every single day of the week doesn't apply to every single person in the universe. But if you want clarity, accuracy, and answers to any questions that you would like me to give you, I direct and invite you to go to my website, and that is www.brendatarot.info. See you soon, Sagittarius. We start our week on Monday, my friend, with an Earth card, and you have been given the five of Earth. Earth cards have to do with the material part of our world and uh, bringing that currency and that type of abundance into our lives. Usually it, it circulates around our jobs, uh, around our professions. It can also uh, be about our um, family circle. It can be about Mother Earth. This is telling me, though, that there is money issues around some of you to the point where there's fear, there's nervousness, uh, you're, you're concerned about money. Um, please know that you can accept the wisdom from others that are out there to help you. So seek out the wisdom of others, perhaps your bank or your lending institution, uh, your employer, your financial advisor, someone like that to direct you and help you with this issue over money you're troubled with. This is also showing me that some of you that are self-employed are quite concerned and worried about that. There's uncertainty there too. So please seek out the wisdom of a professional to help you there. On Tuesday, you've been given an air card and you have been given the nine of air. Air cards have to do, and I have to tell you, you have four of them here. So there's definitely a, uh, a theme here that has to do with injustice and uh, people that bring that kind of chaos into our lives we don't like to deal with. Also, it can have to do with some legal issues. So there's a theme working here this week for some Sagittarians. It's telling me that you're in a situation right now that you're dealing with and you're expecting the worst is going to come out of it to the point where you're actually losing sleep. So this is a card that tells me that you need to uh, take a hold of that. You need to be uh, balanced mind, body, spiritually, emotionally, and physically in order to deal with these issues. In order to get up on your podium and speak your peace and speak your own mind, um, you need to get your rest because if you don't, it, you know, it can often lead to uh, emotional and physical health issues. So please, my friend, please, please, please take heed and get your rest in order to deal with <clears throat> these issues. Now you have the three of air crowning your week on Wednesday. And this tells me that, you know, you've been really, really working these issues out about injustice and trying to make fair and just decisions and, and taking everything into consideration for everybody. And, you know, some of you have been fighting with legal issues and those types of situations. They show me that there's a great sadness and that you need to take time to heal. And uh, in order to do this, you need to forgive yourself and the others that were involved in this is in this situation. On Thursday, you've been given, how ironic, you've been given the major card, balance. So basically, uh, you know, balance is what it says. It's, it's the need to balance and do everything in moderation. Don't just jump into the quicksand with both your feet and then at the last minute say, oh my God, I'm sinking. You need to know that when you're balancing issues in your life, cooperation and compromise are definitely two words that need to be considered. And please, please wait for the perfect timing before you make any major decisions, you sign any major contracts, um, anything like that, okay? Wait for the perfect timing. Do things in moderation, don't jump. On Friday, you've been given another air card, the Queen of Air. Now, the Queen of Air, uh, she's the queen. She takes care of her court. She handles all her business, crosses her T's, dots her I's, and then she looks around and says, this is 
this, 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 and this is not serving me, it's gone. So it's all about uh, clearing away all that no, that no longer serves you. It can be situations, it can be a project, it can be people in your life, but you're going to get rid of it. You're going to walk away from it, you're going to wipe your hands of it, and you're going to say, done, 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 done. But when you do it, see the humor in it because you're going to do this and you're going to say, wow, here I was worried about all of this. And now that I've done it, I feel so good. I'm so relieved. What was I worried about? And it's about making objective decisions. On Saturday, you've been given a water card, five of water. Water cards have to do with the relationships in our lives that we have with other people. Sometimes they can be romantic and intimate, and other times they're just friendship relationships, co-working relationships, business relationships. Things are not working out the way that you had hoped for some of you in a relationship with someone or some others. Um, you're not seeing a positive in this situation whatsoever, and you're just sitting there, and you're pining about it, you're thinking about it, you're brooding about it, and you're crying over spilt milk. You have two directions to go. Both of them have consequences, this road or that road. You've heard of the high road and the low road. So what you need to do is sit with yourself and ask yourself what will benefit you the most in whatever direction you choose. And this is how easy it is to wipe away spilt milk. The end of the week on Sunday, here's your final air card, and it is the eight of air. This is telling me that some of you that have been dealing with these situations, these legal situations, or these injustice situations, this uh, this conflict that you've been having with someone or some other people, uh, you're feeling trapped in it to the point where you think, how am I going to get out of this situation? I, I don't know what to do. Um, you're lacking self-confidence. You're afraid to move on and take action. The word they want you to remember that should resonate is illusion. You really are not trapped, my friend. You're thinking you are, but there are different directions you can take, okay? At the end of the reading, I did incorporate that one oracle card, and this is what they gave you. Energy healing. Energy healing. I mean, perhaps some of you are going into holistic healing. Um, perhaps some of you are going to take Reiki, universal energy healing. Perhaps some of you are just realizing that we all vibrate. We all vibrate at a different level. Everything is energy. Every single breathing cell, every, every, every plant, every person, every animal, everything in life is energy. Energy healing, my friend. Believe in it. Uh, manifest it and bring on that healing that you need to bring to yourself. I want to thank you again, and I wish you a great remainder to today and a wonderful, optimistic week, Sagittarius, to look forward to. I have again today another quote for you, and that is, In the end, we only regret the chances we didn't take. See you again next week, my friend, and know that I continue to stand in the circle of light for you.